D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, this video is for beginners. In this video, I have a double groove, double grooved pulley and a double grooved flywheel. This here, that you can see clearly that the bearing is no good on this one here. I should be able to lift this. And you can see the bearing is shot. And so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace the bearing not the bearing <laughs> good luck with that replace your fan belts how to get them on how to remove them um you know sometimes this can be a bit difficult or it's simple for us pros and um but it's difficult for beginners so this video is for beginners and um do it yourself first mm, i don't think so this is a, this is a commercial hvac unit so I don't think you want to have any do-it-yourselfers in this class. But yeah, you can see clearly the bearing is shot. You can see the plane between the bearing. Shaft is pretty much rubbed all the way through. Yeah, that's dead. Um, but before getting to that, I want you to subscribe if you have not subscribed and smash that bell icon so when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. So, <clears throat> um, one thing I want to tell you guys about um, fan belts, um, perhaps the reason why this, I think the reason why this bearing failed is because the belt tension was too tight. All right, a lot of people. They change the belts, they replace the belts, they get them on, they get them off. However, they're over-tensioned. And this is an example of what will happen when you over-tighten your belt. So you see it, not only did it ruin the bearing, uh, it cuts into the shaft as well. That's how crazy it is. And you're gonna see, you're gonna see how tight this thing was. All right, so comes to install, when it comes to installing the belts, so you got two grooves, so it's uh, a simple groove is a little bit easier. So this is a great lesson or a great tutorial because double groove. So what you'll do, you'll put the belt, you see the belt and I'm doing this with one hand guys, one hand, so it's that easy. So you see the belt on the inside of your motor pulley first. Always go, go by the smallest side first, the motor pulley, all right? And then you'll sit it on the flywheel uh, so you can I wouldn't recommend going like, like this because it will be too much trouble for it to slip on too much trouble for it to slip on so you have to go I would say go here go to the front section the outside so you're on the inside over there but you're on the outside up here all right that makes sense outside see my hand see the belt see the old settings inside and then simply rotate rotate all right now you see the belt is on but it's mismatched I'm on the outside I need to be over here and then all you have to do now to get the belt over there is simply just use your finger or you, or you could use a uh, a screwdriver and just push push while you turn while you rotate okay so it's twisted but flip it back. Oh. There we go. So you can just do like that. And again, you gotta pardon me a little bit because I'm using just one hand. All right, so you see the belt is on now. Okay. And I'm gonna be removing it the same way with one hand so you guys will see. All right, so I'm gonna put the belt on here and outside down. 
Okay, so I'm on the outside. And I'm just gonna set it there. On the outside groove, the outer groove, the flywheel. Always talk with your pulley first. And simply, I'm just gonna rotate with a force. And you hear it, it's on. Now, what I was saying to you guys about tension, where it's important, clearly, even though this uh, bearing is shot and the shaft is almost cut through, you can see that the tension is too tight. So you will think that you'll have a lot of slack right now a lot of slack because the, the the bearing is already broken and the shaft is halfway cut through that will be a lot of slack but look how tight this is look how very tight this is. this is very tight so we can so we know that the tension of the belt is very important now one thing you don't want to do is adjust the pulley because this is a variable pulley you can adjust it you can open them you can close them you don't want to adjust your pulley to in order to get your belt, belt tension loosed or tighter what you need to do is adjust the motor position okay so what you'll do you see that this motor right here you can slide it along the groove you loosen this screw that screw over there all right you can see this screw right here that screw right there and there's two more in front this one and that one and once those screws are loose you can then have the ability to slide this motor um, this way and that way as much as these grooves will allow so in this case let me get back Now clearly you could see that if I if I were to slide the motor this direction it would be more in line the pulley would be more in line with the flywheel and so the distance between the pulley I mean the pulley and the flywheel would be less so the belt would become looser and consequently if I were to slide my thing out of my pocket, man, this thing is just bothering me. If I were to slide the motor, you can see based on the orientation, that's the camera level. Yeah, I think it is level. Um, if I were to slide the motor more this way, then it will be increasing the tension in the belt. So this is what you do. You gotta loosen the, the four bolts and you move the motor closer or further away to adjust your tension. That's how you do it, guys. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. All right. Now, let's go ahead and, and remove this. Another thing, too. This is a pillow block bearing. So, a bearing is a pillow block, pillar block bearing. So, with the pillow block bearing, it's okay to have a little more tension on your belt and also install and remove them the same way I did just right here in this video. However, really the best method is to loosen the four bolts on the motor. And now remember that, you know, different unit or different manufacturer, the motor will be mounted a different way. Maybe you won't have this exact setup, but you will have something available to you where you can move the motor, you know, back and forth. There's never going to be a situation where uh, you have a belt situation set up or a belt set up where you cannot, you know, move the motor back and forth or closer or further so that you can adjust your belt engine. There's always going to be um, that um, functionality available once you have a belt driven uh, setup it's just that it may be a different it may differ so you just just, just gotta look for it 
look for it and know it's there and do never never adjust the pulley or open or close the pulley grooves to increase or decrease tension on your fan belts all right um yeah, so let's remove these belts so simple you can use a screwdriver for this you can put a screwdriver in there if you want be careful not to get your fingers nipped under there because that's gonna hurt see like that that will hurt so you just pry it sideways and just pull and rotate that's the first one and for this one here i'm just gonna go on the inside as a matter of fact you could have put it on that way too you could have just put it on from the inside but i did it from the outside just push and rotate that's it so in consequently you could have just done this one from the inside if you like as opposed to go across all right here you go simple as that <sighs> closing this video off right now